Outpainting means enlarging an image by predicting what could be present beyond its existing borders. This technique can be applied to any image in Leonardo AI, including those uploaded from your phone or computer. For instance, I've created an image of a busy city, but I want to adjust its size. To achieve this, I'll utilize the Canvas Editor in Leonardo. Click on the three dots to send the image to the Canvas Editor. In Canvas Editor, place the square over the area you want to expand ensuring that you cover about half of it with the rectangle as a reference for the AI. In the prompt, you can simply write Continue Image. When you hit Generate, the AI will extend the image. Since I've set the image count to 4, I can now choose from 4 options. Click on Accept on the image you prefer. Repeat this process for the other parts until you're pleased with the result. Here's a comparison of my images before and after extending it. Now, let's discuss what you include in the prompt. I used a generic prompt like Continue Image. You can also try prompts like Same Background or Same Structure, etc. These prompts work well for images of buildings or structures. However, in my experience, they don't perform as well when dealing with images of humans. For those types of images, I find that using the original prompt works best. Let's take this picture of a cute IT girl in the style of 3D animation. Before sending it to Canvas Editor, I'll copy the prompt first. Now that I've copied the prompt, let's bring it over to Canvas Editor. Paste the prompt at the bottom and begin expanding the rectangle to cover the image. Notice that instead of using a generic prompt like Continue Image, I chose to use a more detailed prompt, which, in this case, is the same one I used for the original image. To maintain a consistent look and feel, ensure you utilize the same model for outpainting as the one used for image generation, in this instance, the 3D animation model. Now let's generate. Once again, I have a few options. I think I prefer this one, so I'll click on Accept. Let's go for another round. This time, I'll set the square to the largest possible option. It will take longer to generate, but it should provide me with some better options. I'll choose this one, which I like best. By the way, what Leonardo does is create another image within the square. You'll notice this when you move the image away. Remember to save your image before leaving Canvas Editor. Images edited here without painting are not automatically saved to your personal feed, but you can download them to your computer. In summary, the more specific your prompt, the higher quality image Leonardo will generate for you. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.